Hi Two Shoes Dance Academy, it's Mr. Michael here. I'm here to bring you your first uh, ever episode of Winter Warm Ups. Uh, I'm going to take you through some stretching and some core work, things that you can work on in your home during these cold winter months just to keep you moving, keep your body nice and mobile, stretched out um, and everything working. Uh, so I'd recommend doing these stretches uh, after you've had maybe a really really hot shower, you put some warm clothes on, go in front of a heater or the fire or something like that, and uh, you can just take your time with these stretches or you can just move straight through them. Uh, I'd recommend holding each stretch for 30 seconds to a minute if you're looking to increase your flexibility or if you're looking to just get a bit looser and just stretch out a bit, whether it's as soon as you wake up in the morning or for bed or any time of the day, I'd say 10 seconds for each stretch. But for just this video, I'm gonna just be moving through all the stretches and I'll be talking about uh, what we're looking for in each stretch. Cool. So just to start with, just gonna jog up and down, changing feet. Getting the blood nice and warmed up, maybe jogging on the spot, jumping side to side, pointing your feet, doing whatever you want to do, kicking behind, lifting your knees up, you know, do, do this for a good minute, 30 seconds just to get my body warm, and then from there I'm just going to do a little bend forward, so I'm reaching my hands down. And then I'm just putting my hands on my back, pushing back a little bit, switching forward, back, just getting the lower back moving in the upper thoracic, just moving around. And go a little bit further each time. And then from there, I'm just going to do some light twists side to side. Same thing, just to get the back moving. Maybe open up your shoulders a little bit. And from there I'll grab my hips, just doing hip circles, either way, whatever way feels good for you. Opening up your hips, oh. and then from there I'm just going to get one arm, stretching over, stretching out my obliques. My obliques are here, and my lats standing up, other side, that's it, coming up. Over again, probably just do this a few times just to warm up a little bit, get everything moving. Oh. Okay, from there, first I'll look to open up my lower back, and by doing that, I'm just going to sit with my legs nice and crossed, knees even. You can either sit like this, or you can put one leg on top, like this in a half lotus. Okay, so with this position, we're just trying to keep our body up nice and straight. Just going to lean forward, trying to have a long lower back, trying to get our head to the floor. And you'll feel your lower back opening up and your hips and your glutes. And then from there, I would sit up, I turn towards my front leg, same thing, just leaning over the leg. From there, I come up, go to the other side. I would come up, shake my legs out, and then from there I'd swap sides. You can either be one leg in front or one leg up in half lotus, but if you're going to do the half lotus position, you want to think your knee is down. Coming forward, I'd come up, I'd turn to the side, stretching over. Up, going to the other side, try to keep my shoulders nice and even, and feel your lower back stretching, then you're doing the right thing. Coming up, shaking my legs out. From there, what I do is I go down into a little neutral position, both knees even, and I push my hips up and down. Once again, pushing my hips up as high as I can, just to engage that lower back that we just stretched out. 
coming down. And then from there, I'm going to go for the lower back twist. So I put my leg on top of my other leg like this. And then I'm going to twist my body this way. And then I want my head and my arm to go the opposite way. So we're getting a nice twist through the body. And then I'm trying to drag that knee to the floor. And then from there, I come up, back to neutral, swap over again. So with this one, I just keep swapping side to side, trying to go a little bit further each time to release the lower back. And from there, I just sit in a little frog. I just kind of move my legs up and down, just to open my hips out. And then I lean forward a little bit, put my hands on the ground, just leaning forward. You can either do it with a completely flat back and just stretch forward with your head up, or try to open my head to drop down. And then within that stretch, I'll come back up and I might use my hands to push my knees down or I think about holding my ankles and I push my knees down with my elbows. Just opening up that hip flexor a little bit more. It's a bit of an awkward pain, so it might feel a bit strange, but it's all good. From there, I'll come up. Oh, I'll shake my legs out. From there, Go into a, a cat and cow. So cat and cow. So this is a cow position. I'm arching my lower back and I'm looking up at the sky. And then from there I'm going to go into a cat position. So when a cat gets uh, scared or frightened, it'll do this. Stretch your back. And then I just go cow, cat, cow. And just keep moving through that position. holding it if you find a niggle. So usually if I find a niggle in this position where I'm a little bit tight, I'll just stretch into that muscle, moving my body around. I might do some circles or anything like that. Great. From there, I'm just going to pull my fingers back, stretching my wrist out. Hold that for a good 20 seconds and I'll swap over. So I grab my wrist, my arm, stretching it out. Maybe go back again, just rolling my wrist out, shake it out, swapping sides, stretching that out, stretching this out, stretching this out, and then just shake that out again. Good. So from there, we're just going to go into a basic sun salute. So I'm going to start with my legs together, or you can start with your legs a little bit wider, or whatever feels comfortable. Uh, hip width apart. I'm just going to reach up, clasp my hands together, I'm going to reach out and come down. So within that, I'm going to go deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And at the same time, I'm thinking about being long in my tummy, sucking in my tummy like we do in ballet, the tummy. Sucking back to my spine, nice and strong, reaching up. Then next, I'm going to reach forward again, but this time I'm going to have nice bent knees, just stretching forward, putting my hands on the floor or on your feet or grab your ankles, whatever feels comfortable. And I'm just going to relax my, my chest onto my knees. So I'd hold that for a good 30 seconds. Or you can hold it for five deep breaths. And then from there, I'd come back up and go up again. From there, I'm going to go over my knees. I'm going to go out to a nice plank. So when I do a plank, I want to think that my hips are in line with the rest of my body. Okay? So I'm not dro dropping here. 
and I'm not here. I'm trying to hold a position that is nice and straight. And then from there, I'm straight away going to go into a upward dog. Okay, so an upward dog, you can either have your legs nice and relaxed and you're just trying to stretch the abdominals out and your hips. And then if you want to make it even harder, I'm going to tuck my toes under and I'm going to lift my knees off the floor. From there, I'm going to push back into a downward dog. So I'm thinking of my uh, lower back is going to be flat. I'm thinking of my glutes going up towards the roof. And I want to think that I'm going to lower my heels to the floor. And if you're feeling a bit tight, you can either have the slightly bent legs just for the first round, or you can stretch your legs out. And then from there, I'm going to push my shoulders long. I'm going to push my chest into the floor. From there, I'm just going to go up to the upper dog again. And then I'm just going to move back and forth through this position just to get the body. Nice and loose, and each time I'm going to try and push this position even further. I'm going to go up again. I'm going to push again. And again. Just rolling nice and soft through this position. Each time taking a deep breath in and out. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing in. Breathing out, and then from there, I'm just going to push down into a child's pose. So I'm going to push backwards, just release down onto the floor. And coming up, from there, I'm going to pull one leg forward into a nice hip stretch. Now from, with this hip stretch, I don't want my leg, the lower part of my leg, in here because I, I'm not really getting much stretch in my hip. I want to aim to have my leg a little bit further out to start with, so at this position. So then when I stretch forward, there's much more space for my hip to push forward. And then you can do it in many different ways. You can either just have your hands on your knees or you can have your leg, hands on the ground. Or you can have your hands to the side so that you're not um, holding any tension. You can have your hands up, or you can also push it even further. And I like to put my hand up and my elbow across, and I'm just going to do a little twist into that hip position. So I'm still pushing my hip into the ground, but I'm also twisting. And then from there, I might even go into a, a lunge. And I have my this leg nice and straight, and I push down. Same thing if I want to hold it, practice some balance. And my legs nice and warm, nice and strong, and I'll come back down. Whatever I want to do. From there, I'm going to come back and swap sides. So same thing, stretching out the hip, holding it for a good 30 seconds, a minute, five deep breaths. Whatever you're comfortable with, we're just trying to release the tension in our hip. So same thing, arms out to the side, head up, put your hands on the floor, or you can do what I like to do, put my hand up, bring it across the body, and twist. And then to push that in further, you get this hand, put it in a nice prayer position. I use the, the tension of my hands, pushing into each other, to twist. Good. And then from there, I'll come back, and I might go out to another plank. And from this plank, push down again, the downward dog, moving through this position, looking up, once again looking down, looking up. And then from there, I might go into just an isolated hamstring stretch. So I might put my foot in front. Leaning forward, and in this position, I really want to focus on breathing, just to get a little bit further down each time. So I'll take a deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out, 
Take breath in. Take breath out. If I really want to push this stretch even more, I'll grab my toes and pull it back. It's a really yucky nerve stretch, but it's very good for all your fascia and your nerves. Stretching down. Then I'll swap legs. Coming forward. Take a deep breath in. Stretching forward. Coming up. Stretching forward. Same thing. Grabbing my toes, pulling them back. Coming back. Bring my legs in. And then what I might do from there is just to hit, open my hips up again. I like to stand in a nice little second position. Come down like we're doing a warm up pass. I'll use my hand, push my hip out, opening up my hip. Making deep breaths, just letting it open up, swapping over again, push my hips open. Very nice. Coming up, after I've done that, I like to just roll my hips out again. Just to ease off that tension that I've just stretched out, so my body's going to be reacting. So I'm going to come down again, go a little bit further, swapping over, a little bit further. Hold that for about 30 seconds. I'll come up, roll my hips out again. From there, I'm going to come back into my knees. You can walk out to a plank. Same thing. Just really getting that back moving up the dog again. You can either do that, and then we're going to push down, rolling through. And then from there, I can either do a jump, or I'm going to walk my legs in. Walk my legs in, I'm going to bend over again. I can either have my legs nice and bent, or I can have them straight. So I'm just going to stretch my legs, let my body relax down, take some deep breaths in, just letting all the tension go. Now I'm going to roll up and finish the sun salute off, hands up, and I'll come down. So then with that sun salute, I like to repeat that either another two times, three times, whatever you need. Whatever you need to release the tension in your body. So, like I said, you can either hold it each stretch for a good 30 seconds or a minute if you want to increase your flexibility, if it's something you need to work on. Or if you just want to release the, the uh, tightness and tension, say you're sore from class or you just woke up a little bit stiff or before bed, it's, it's a nice idea to stretch because you'll actually have a really nice relaxed sleep. Um, so yeah, you can either hold the stretches or you can do what I just did and really just move through the stretches. But when you move through the stretches, it's good to repeat them maybe three times each and hold them for a good few seconds. But when I do the stretch, I'm going to go further each time I repeat the stretch, a bit further, a bit further, not to the point of hurting yourself, but just to really, you can feel the muscle stretching. And after you do that, you feel really nice. Um, yeah. Uh, so, also, I'd recommend drinking a fair bit of water before and after doing the stretching. And once again, also focus on being warm before you do the stretch. Okay, so if I'm going to stretch, I want to make sure that I've either had a hot shower beforehand, um, I've done some exercise beforehand when my blood um, flow is increased in my body, so my heart rate has gone up. Or I'm wearing some very warm clothes, some nice hoodie, uh, some sweatpants or trackies or whatever you want to wear. Um, or do it in front of a fire if you have one at home, a heater, whatever you need. But just make sure you're nice and warm. Okay, We don't want to be cold and risk any kind of injury. Uh, so just to finish this off, I'm just going to show you a quick little ab thing you could do. So just to get the core going. I want to be lying back again in a neutral position. I want to have my hands out straight, my hands on the floor. I want to continue looking at the roof. I want to bring my arms up to my knees and back down. Up and back down. Up and back down. We're trying not to use momentum. We're trying to just use the hands reaching. 
I'm going to suck my tummy to my spine, and I'm coming up and back down. So I aim to do that five to ten times, and then from there, I'm going to put my, I like to put my hands under my hips, and I'm just going to have my knees into my body. I'm going to stretch them out nice and slow, nice and controlled, to a nice pointed stretch legs. From there, bring me nice and slow again. Same thing, stretching my legs out, my lower, lower abdominals, bring them in. That's it. Nice stretch out. And bring it back in. The slower the better. So I need to do that again five to ten times, coming up and back. And then from there, we're going back to this plank position. And these are called mountain climbers. So I'm going to think of bringing my knee to my chest or my head and back. Up and back. Up and back. But at the same time, I'm not trying to go up here because we're going to miss a lot of the uh, abdominals we're actually trying to hit because this is releasing all the tension. And the same thing here, we don't want to be here because we can't move our legs. So we want to be here, keeping my body absolutely still, just bring my knees in, I'd swap over, you know, 10 to 20 times, whatever you're feeling, or each day you can increase how many you do. Um, so the, for the last one, so we've done the sit-ups, we've done the leg extensions, and we've done the mountain climbers in the plank. Another good one is just holding your legs out straight. I'm going to, from here, sit up, bring my legs up, I'm going to do something called 100s. So both my hands, my hands are just going up and down. And I'm trying to keep my body where it is. I don't want to be all oh, like jello, but trying to build strength in the body. Yeah, so from here, I'm doing the hundreds. So I'm just, my hands are strong, my arms are strong, and then just doing little up and down motion. As I'm holding it, you can feel your abs going. So if I'm just facing the camera, my legs are up, nice and pointed, my hands are on either side, just going up and down, up and down. We're trying not to be here, we're trying not to be too close to the floor. We're trying to be at a nice 45 degree angle. Make it nice and hard. Cool. So we've got the sit up. We've got the leg extensions. We've got the mountain climbers. And then we've got what I just did, which is the hundreds. So you can either do it exercise at a time. So five to ten reps or time in that little sequence, or if you really want to push yourself, you can go from one exercise, next exercise, next exercise, straight away, boom, 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 no, no breaks, boom, 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 um, yes, that's my, my recommendation is to do them consecutively without breaks, but I guess at the beginning, everyone needs to just get the position, make sure you're doing it properly. Maybe ask your friend or your parents to help you to make sure you're doing it correctly or you can just keep referring back to this video or you can message me, Miss Caroline or any of the other teachers if you have any questions to do with any of these exercises whether you want to ask in your own classes or you just want to send an email or a message or whatever you want to do. But yeah, make sure everyone's eating good food drinking lots of water, keep moving maybe through these exercises every day just to keep yourself, one, entertained and two, nice and fit so then when we are back in the studio and we can't, we can do the big steps and the bigger jumps, you're ready to go. All good? Thank you everyone. I will see you guys in class. Once again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.